right, First Alert Chief Neurologist Paul Hagen is standing by. And Paul, it was gorgeous outside <laughs> today. Almost kind of odd because it was so warm and it just doesn't feel right for this time of year, but we enjoyed it. It was great. Right. Listen carefully, though. that That's the other shoe <laughs> that is about to drop. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> yeah, wet, windy, and colder weather is going to return, so savor the warmth while it's here. Another dry and mild day in store for us tomorrow, so you get one more day to enjoy this little taste of springtime. And then Wednesday, our next atmospheric river is going to hit the coast, bringing heavy rain and gusty winds to the Bay Area beginning around midday Wednesday and continuing through the afternoon into the evening and even overnight. So take a look at future cast and we will see some clouds tonight into early tomorrow morning, helping to keep temperatures mild. That blanket of cloud cover overhead, keeping temperatures about five to 10 degrees above average. We'll see a mix of clouds and sunshine on Tuesday, but gradually thickening clouds and already Tuesday evening chance of a couple of showers making their way to the coast and hitting the North Bay. But those are going to be brief and very light. The main event is going to be lurking off the coast as the sun comes up on Wednesday and it is going to be pushing onshore as we head towards lunchtime, first for the North Bay and then for the rest of the Bay area. Bands of heavy rain and gusty winds are going to work their way from west to east across the Bay Area. A couple of different main bands of rainfall, one of which is going to be falling right around the peak of rush hour in the evening. That gradually pushes farther off to the east, but even once it does, we're still going to have lingering off and on showers the rest of Wednesday night and into most of Thursday and Friday. So adding up this first wave of rain, this is just through the sunrise on Thursday morning. Talking about on a general basis, an inch and a half to three inches of total rain, but some higher numbers for the north Bay, anticipating almost four inches of rain for both Santa Rosa and San Rafael. And there are going to be some spots, in the coastal ranges of Sonoma County and the Santa Cruz Mountains pick up over five inches of rain just with round one. And it's going to be associated with some gusty winds, but not initially. As we head through the day tomorrow, the winds are still going to be pretty light. Those strongest gusts are going to accompany the heaviest downpours as we head through the day on Wednesday. Gusts along the coast in the 40 to 50 mile an hour range farther inland. A lot of gusts in the 20 to 30 mile an hour range. And in the Sierra, it's going to be a snowmaker a winter storm watch in effect. This goes from Wednesday afternoon through Friday afternoon, five, about 5,000 feet for the snow level. It's going to start about 6,500 feet and then drop down to lower than 5,000 feet by the end of the week. Talking about 8 to 14 inches of snow at lake level. The peaks are going to pick up 2.5 feet of snow just out of this first system. And there's more on the way. We'll see those lingering showers as we hit the end of the work week, Thursday and Friday. Little lull in the rain chances on Saturday. Not a 0% chance, but pretty low. And then another system is going to be making its way in with more heavy rain and more gusty winds on Sunday. So you add those together. This is the seven day forecast from the Weather Prediction Center in terms of total rainfall, adding all those waves together. And we're talking about two and a half to four inches of rain for most of the Bay Area. And as the, the other map showed as well, higher amounts for the North Bay, four to six inches of rain there. That little bullseye of yellow in the Santa Cruz Mountains and the coastal ranges of Sonoma County, more than seven inches of rain adding up over the next seven days. Right now, we're just waiting on that to arrive. Temperatures are still mild. We're in the mid to upper 60s. We're going to drop down to the mid to upper 40s and low 50s by early tomorrow morning, which is well above normal for this time of year. And then our temperatures are going to warm up. Not as much as we did today, but you're still going to be at or above 70 degrees in San Jose. One more day of temperatures about 5 to 10 degrees above normal in the afternoon. Upper 60s to around 70 degrees inland of the East Bay. 65 in Antioch will be one of the cool spots on the map. The coolest spot right along the coast. Half Moon Bay topping out in the low 60s, mid 60s for San Francisco with temperatures for the North Bay, mostly reaching up into the middle portion of the 60s as well. Again, temperatures are going to drop significantly as these rain chances make their way across the Bay Area. So let's take a look at the seven day forecast. And while everybody is going to be dropping off at a similar rate, we're not going to see a whole lot of variation from spot to spot. So whether it's coast, inland or Bayside, everybody's going to be on an even playing field. The big story will be the rain. First round of rain and wind on Wednesday, showers Thursday and Friday, a brief little break on Saturday, but then more rain, more wind on Sunday. We're going to be on lookout for power outages because of the gusty winds.